the US government is, well, they're claiming, I don't know if this is the Democratic Party kind of taking shots at Elon Musk, but they're claiming that they are helping to assist all the so-called fired Tesla employees. Now, I'm curious, I've sent them an email. I have actually sent the US government an email. I don't know if it's the right email address. I said to them, guys, I just want to know if you're helping all the fired employees from Ford, General Motors and Stellantis this year as well, because they have also fired about 20,000 employees over the past 12 months. Now, obviously, I have not received any kind of response. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Now, I am not smiling that um, these people have lost their jobs. I have full confidence, though, that if you're a good employee, you work hard, you will find another job. So there's, there's that. But honestly, I don't feel good that people have lost their jobs. I'm just making the point here that it's intriguing that the US government, the Department of Labor, are pointing out that they are providing more than $1 million in assistance to the thousands of workers that have been laid off. Now, honestly, this amount of money is so ridiculously small that I don't really know why they're advertising it. Anyhow, apparently a notice said that only 2,688 people have been fired. That's not much, 2,688. I mean, honestly, it's a lot, but com in comparison to Ford, Ford have fired about 8,000. General Motors, pretty similar numbers over the past 12 months. So a lot more job losses from the big three, from Stellantis, Ford, and GM. Far more, in fact. Um, this is kind of a drop in the bucket in comparison. But the media have made it out to be maybe a, a lot bigger than what, it's, than what it actually was. The government is saying the funds are being used to provide employment and training services for impacted workers. Uh, I don't know. I mean, guys, I honestly think if you're if you're working at Tesla, if you worked at Tesla, there's a pretty good chance you'll find a job elsewhere. It seems to be the case that a lot of employees want people who've worked at Tesla. Mostly they're pretty hardworking. The Department of Labor said the money allows the state to provide retraining and skills development for dislocated workers in Bastrop, Blanco, Burnett, Caldwell, Fayette, Hayes, Lee, Lano, Travis, Williamson counties, blah, 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 blah. The award is being billed as the first increment of a national dislocated worker grant and additional funds are available. And the total could increase potentially to $3.2 million. The layoffs apparently followed uh, Tesla's first quarter numbers, which a lot of analysts are saying were disappointing. Deliveries were 386,000 in the first quarter. Of course, Tesla deliveries increased to about 440,000 in the second quarter. So really good delivery numbers for Tesla in the second quarter. Tesla obviously revealed their uh, results. They did make a profit, but it was a lot less profit than last year for the second quarter. It was about you know, just over 1.4 billion. But realistically, if you think about it, Tesla is still the only manufacturer outside of BYD that make any profit at all selling EVs. So I still think those numbers are surprisingly good. When you look at the, the average sales price for Tesla, I don't know how they're doing it. I really think it's quite miraculous. These results, though, from the first quarter did encourage Tesla to reduce a lot of their workforce. But the part of the reason is that Tesla is obviously pivoting towards robotics, artificial intelligence, and energy. Uh, energy is meant to increase by 600%. So energy storage, as in battery storage, that's meant to increase by 600% worldwide over the next five years. That's what analysts are saying. That number could be even higher, guys. I think it will be higher. If you look at what's happened in Australia over the last few months, battery, the plants for battery projects have ballooned, skyrocketed. It's massive. I mean, it's going to put coal out of business much quicker, I think, than what we first thought because there are so many batteries being deployed and Tesla, have, they're, manu they're actually making about half of those batteries here in Australia. So anyway... Tesla obviously have hired back some of these staff already. Tesla basically maybe renegotiated, I'm not sure, but I know some of the staff have ended back, they have ended back at Tesla. So Tesla's second quarter deliveries, they were lower than their second quarter of 2023, but not by a lot, 444,000 deliveries versus 466,000 the previous year. Tesla said it's a difficult operating environment. And of course, as we know, Tesla's reduce their margins on their EVs massively. And I don't know, honestly, guys, if they're even making any profits on the vehicles that they make in America, but we do know they make a profit on the vehicles that they manufacture in China and then sell in China and worldwide. Efficiency at their factory in China is through the roof. And I think Musk has mentioned that a few times. 
But that said, like I said, the energy division is growing massively. So I do think Tesla, who have actually begun posting jobs um, in numerous places in the United States recently, there's quite a few articles I've seen lately, guys, if you're looking for a job, there's a few, quite a few jobs at Tesla. I do think Tesla will grow, continue to grow in the United States because the robo taxi we made in Texas, Tesla confirmed that. So Model 2 will be made initially in, in Texas. Their cheaper EVs will be made in Texas. So that's a lot of new American jobs that will come. But there probably will be a lot of job losses, I'd say from 2027 onwards. So if you do work at Tesla, I would be getting yourself ready, putting yourself in a position position to potentially train up as much as you can, because yes, there will be thousands of job losses at Tesla. There will be no doubt about that. Tesla are putting themselves in position not to need as many staff as they need. They know that's the only way they can compete with basically beat the competition, sell EVs at a profit at a very good price. That's what they're doing now. Do that long term, right? Tesla need to make vehicles using robots. Tesla's bots will replace human beings. They'll replace human beings in every factory, not just Tesla factories across the entire world. And that's not just Tesla bots. It'll be robots from other manufacturers as well. That is coming. Tony Sieber has predicted this, guys. He's saying every sector will be affected. So even me, I'll be affected. Everyone will be affected. I know it sounds weird, but yeah, in probably in 10 years time, you'll be listening to robots on YouTube. You just won't even know they're robots. They'll just be better at talking than I am, better at delivering you the information you want. They'll tell you the right things you want to hear. Yeah, confirmation bias. They'll give you that kind of, you know, they'll be able to read the audience, all these things. So yeah, it's coming to every industry. It'll come to the car industry. It'll come to the battery industry. It'll come to the pizza industry. McDonald's will have them. The world will change. So these job losses are the tip of the iceberg. Guys, the entire global labor force is about to be disrupted. And if the US government thinks a million dollars is going to make any kind of dent, they need to think twice. The US government needs to prepare for this, right? The US government needs to work out a way that they can retrain people or do something. I don't know what, I don't know what the solution here is, guys. Maybe Elon Musk was right. Maybe there does need to be a basic income. Like some kind of way for people to survive knowing that they cannot get a job back in the manufacturing industry because a robot will take their place. Uh, here's the thing, guys. Maybe China isn't such a big of a problem as what people think. It's going to come in. The job losses, more, far more job losses will come from robotics than what they will from China. But what, what do you guys think about all of this? Let me know what you think is going to happen in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.